what we've got this morning. Two lovely galahs. Haven't seen the galahs for a very long time. Aren't they gorgeous? Pink and grey. Beautiful birds. They look really pretty up against that blooming tree in the background, don't they? They make a gorgeous photo. I'm a little bit nervous, so I'm not going to get too close. There we go. It's a bit later on in the day today. It's actually, it's more like midday actually. All the other birds have been this morning and gone and these two have just come up and having the leftover seed. I thought you'd like to see them. Okay, see you later. G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a split cup pour for you today. Just a piece of plastic that I cut out to fit into my cup. This is um, one of the document holders that I, you know, that I use to swipe with. It's just one of those that I've cut to fit into my little cup there. And I'm going to do, um, do I want to do a ring pour? I can't decide if I want to do a ring pour or a straight pour. But I am going to put a little bit of silicone in my colours just to see what happens because I've never done that. Well, I have, but it was a very long time ago and it was before I started videoing. So let's see how that goes today. Same pouring medium as usual, 70% glue, 30% water with my Global Impasto paints. I have some white, and this one's warm yellow, hibiscus, and turquoise. Added a little bit of white to it to lighten it, and some cool blue. So that's it there. And I'm going to put one drop of the spot on treadmill silicone in each colour. Just one. One. In you go. And I won't put any in the white. There we go. One in each. Don't want a massive cell, so I just want to see what it would look like with some rings and some cells. Straps and circles. Why not? Be a little bit different and I'm going to layer my cup that side is going to be layering that way and that side is going to be layering that way and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the white in from up high so it kind of pushes through all the colors to see what happens so I've got in my cups 30 grams of paint and 30 grams of pouring medium and that should be, hopefully, <clears throat> enough. So I need to use half of what's in there on that side and then keep the other half for the other side. I think that's roughly half. Um, let's start on this side as well, otherwise I'm gonna push my little bit of plastic over. Okay, so that's that one. And then this side has this one. Just going to try and pour it down the side as best I can. Now this one's having the, the same, but it's the third layer for that side. Beautiful pink this, isn't it? It's like one of my favourites, this hibiscus colour. Okay, that's that one empty. Uh, now what am I up to? I think I'm on this side. I always get confused halfway through. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. I think that's right. Hopefully I'm doing it right. You'd tell me if I was doing it wrong, wouldn't you? Um... 
Now this one, I think, just has this on this side, hasn't it? Oh, have I got so much paint left? Have I done it wrong? Okay, so this, that side should have blue, turquoise, magenta, yellow, and this side should have yellow, magenta, turquoise, and then blue. But for some reason, I've got more blue on this side. I'm just going to put a little bit more blue on there just to finish it off. I don't know why. It obviously, didn't pour very evenly when I was pouring out. One must have had more than the other. Now, my white from up high and on the other side from up high. There we go. Done. Now, I'll take that out. It's like a little sunset, isn't it? How pretty is that? <laughs> Love the blues. What am I going to do with it? Oh, let's put it there for a minute. Now, I'm going to pour out here where the join is. And, oh yeah, let's do some circles. I wasn't going to. I was just going to do a, a straight pour, but I might as well. I think from having the split cup, the colours are less muddy, I think. And my mix is really nice and thick too, so my colours aren't blending very much. Wow, look at that yellow. <laughs> it's taken over. Now because I've got silicone in this mix, I don't know where my white's gone, because I've got silicone in here, I don't want to torch yet. Because if I torch and then start tilting, what's going to happen to my cells? What do you think? They are going to stretch out of shape, aren't they? Yes, they are. So I'm going to tilt and cover everything and then I'm going to torch and see if any little cells want to come out and play. This is just white that I've had left over from a, a workshop. I think it must have been a swiping white because it's a bit thinner than I would normally use for a flip cup so it must be a a wipe that I've used previously for swipes and I'm just popping this on here basically to let my rings flow nicely over the top so that they don't break apart as they try and slide over the dry cardboard here that I've got. It just seems to work better if you've got a wet surface for the rings to slide around on. Okay, so that's that done. Wow. Love those colours. Can't see my white though. Um, yeah, I pretty much used all the white. There's a tiny little bit left, but I mean, I had a full cup. Gee, that yellow is very dominant. Might get some of that yellow off down here because that's a lot of yellow just there. And I really like that blue through there. So... I'm going to try and get some of that yellow off first. I'm just going to go to each corner. Do I want to go over the corner yet? Uh, maybe not. Oh, no, I better. Just trying to come back to the corner is always a bit tricky. You, you know, you tend to lose 
your shape. So if you try and go back again, once you're happy with your shape, it's always a bit tricky to go back to that corner again. Now back to the middle. And off to that corner there. A little bit of green, of course, because, you know, blues and yellows. Make a bit of green, but it's not too bad. I actually don't mind it because I've got the um, turquoise in there as well. And that's kind of a greenish blue. Oops, sliding off my cookie cooling rack. Looks nice with the white negative space, doesn't it? Hmm. Wouldn't it be nice to do this random um, sort of rings on a big white negative space background? Yeah, I might do that. I think that would look really nice. It would have like this ring and it'd have white between it and then it'd have another ring there pushing up into the white. I think it would look really pretty. And we'll leave that blue for the last because, as I said, I'd rather get rid of some of this yellow and keep that blue. And you can see how slowly the paint's moving. It's nice and thick. That's why the rings are staying well defined. So I want to keep some of that blue, so let's move down and some of that yellow can go. I don't know that I'm going to actually get any cells because this is a really thick mix. Let's see. I mean, it's not thicker than my flip cut mix and I get cells there. I only want a few little cells though, not a lot. It's so tempting to leave a little bit of white, but it would just look weird having a tiny little bit of white on the corner. Wish I had more of the cool blue though, the dark blue. It's the only transparent colour in this mix. The other colours are all uh, semi-transparent or opaque so I'm kind of lost that bright blue a bit I think that's it you know the more you start tilting and, and things the more this will open up I don't really want that to open up anymore if anything it can close up a little bit in this top section here can open up I just want to open this up a bit here because these red ones, well, pink, are quite wide. These are quite narrow. So I'm just moving everything down just to open these up. There, I think that looks really pretty. Okay, now let's see what happens when a torch. May not get any cells. May not. But how pretty are these rings, hey? From a split cup. needed to make my mix a little bit thinner if I wanted cells to come up. So they're going to be quite small and I don't think they're going to spread a lot because you know the mix is quite thick so they'll pop up and there'll be a lot of resistance around them so they won't really be able to stretch out. Whereas if the mix was a little bit thinner, thinner, when the cells popped up, there wouldn't be so much resistance on them and they could spread out a little bit more. And you might be saying, oh, you've ruined it by putting cells on it. <laughs> I may have, but it's just something I wanted to try. I guess it probably would have looked nicer if the cells were bigger. Uh, 
and this white is popping through here on the edges. I don't like that. That's the problem with putting a, a base coat down. The white comes up from underneath. So yeah, don't like that. So yeah, it probably was nicer before I torched it. <laughs> uh, never mind. It was worth the try. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, I really liked that um, split cup. I need to get rid of this white. I don't like that on the edges. It's bugging me. It is. So if I overstretch, I overstretch, but I don't like that white. I guess it's opening up my cells a little bit too. Okay, down to this corner, get rid of that white. You know, considering I uh, dropped that white in from up high, where is it? Like, it's gone. Can't even see it, any of it, except for on the edge of the canvas there. And I didn't even want it there. Actually, that's looking better now isn't it I've opened up those cells so you can imagine what it would look like if my mix was a little bit thinner uh, those cells would pop up and be more like this size straight away without me having to stretch them okay I am just going to leave it like that what do you think? Something a little bit different for a change? Yeah, those cells are better. Um, I guess I could have even got away with not having any white at all because you can't see it. I wonder why. I wonder why it all vanished. Let me take you down. So because my mix was nice and thick, you can see clearly see the definition and how pretty is it with that turquoise between it kind of looks as if the background is turquoise and it's got that magenta stripe through it and then it's got that warm yellow kind of orangey looking stripe through it and then up this end got more of the yellow in the center it looks pretty cool with that turquoise background it looks as if the background is actually turquoise but it ain't okay pretty cells obviously not as nice as you would get with flip cut paws but still quite pretty, the cells. So yeah, quite happy with that one. Definitely going to have to do a split cup again. That was fun. Um, and if I want cells, then make the mix a little bit thinner. Although, in saying that, if you start making your mix thinner for a ring pour, you lose the definition of your rings if you make your mix thin and the colors just all kind of blur into each other that's better there it's a better color true color all right <laughs> i really love that it's so bright i can't get over how bright it is my goodness all right thanks for watching i'll see you for the next one bye for now